Welcome to SRG Insights, where we answer your questions about sales, sales management, and sales training. And today's question is, what are some of the key considerations for a successful sales training partnership? And that's a really excellent question. A lot of times clients want to know, well, what should we really look for in terms of a training provider? So one of the areas to start is really, what's the company's reputation and thought leadership? Are they well known in the industry? Do they have good industry recognition? So they don't necessarily have to be a super large company, but do they have a pretty uh, good name brand? Do they put out publications? Are there blog posts? Are there, web are there webinars? Are the topics that they're blogging about and writing about of interest to you? Are there reports? Are there data? Is there client success? Just some general information that gives you a sense for the reputation and thought leadership of that company. Another area to take a close look at is a training curriculum. When you start to think about the actual training program, you really want to make sure that that program aligns with your key priorities. As a rule of thumb, I like to think about do 80% of the topics that they're covering in that program directly align with skills and techniques that would be relevant to my team. Not to say that if there's you know less than 80% that the program wouldn't work, but at some point you have to think about how much do you want to really customize and is there another program that might be the need better. I'd also look at the quality of the skill models and the application exercises. Are these models models that make sense? Would they resonate with our employees? If you have a younger workforce, will they resonate with um, millennials? And are there actual ways to apply those models to real world scenarios? And then I'd look at the instructional design. How do they, how does the materials look and feel? Are they easy to use? Are they easy to digest? A lot of times many programs get overly complicated and that implements, that introduces a lot of implementation risk. For look, so look for something that has good clean instructional design, good skill models, and most importantly aligns with your needs. A third area to consider is, you know, what's going to happen before the training? What kind of pre-training consultation is there is going to take place? Are they going to take the time to really understand my industry, my competitive landscape, my positioning, and the challenges that we might be facing in the marketplace? Will they help me identify the priorities for skills development? And will they t really take into account my culture, the vision, mission, and values of my company? Is this program going to feel like something that really belongs in my company that's really been custom tailored to really address the needs of our sales team. Customization, so how is that program gonna align with our needs? Are they gonna be able to take the key learnings from the pre-training consultation and really make sure they find their way into the curriculum? Will the program delivery really resonate with the team? Are there gonna be real world examples? Are they gonna use the, the kind of terminology that we use within our business? And most importantly, is there going to be skills application where people can actually apply the skills they learned on real world scenarios that really resonate with the participants in the program? Another area that's really critical is training delivery. What's the background and experience of the facilitators? What's going to be the level of participation and interaction and engagement? In other words, is this going to be a lecture, kind of boring, or is this going to be a facilitated session with lots of discussions, exercises, role plays, someone that's bringing a lot of energy into the room? Because the focus really needs to be on skills application. So we like to think about learn, apply, and adopt. And we really want that training delivery to really focus on the application of the skills that are being learned. Reinforcement. Reinforcement's absolutely key. The sales training simply won't stick if it's just a training event. So you have this great training program, there was pre-training consultation, you've customized it, now you've delivered it. Well, how are you going to reinforce it? Reinforce the training? What's going to make it sustainable? So are there reinforcement sessions that really focus on skills application? Is there an opportunity to really discuss best practices? What's working? What's not working? Are there reference guides? Are there coaching guides? Is there post-training support? Reinforcement is absolutely critical to making sure you get a return on investment. Client success. So almost every company has uh, some success profiles. Maybe they have videos on their website with client testimonials. But I think what's really important is to speak with clients. Did the training align with that client's cultures? Did the training result in behavior change? What's the overall strength of the recommendation you're hearing from that customer? So in thinking about these areas, you really want to make sure that you're very, very comfortable with the training partner you selected. And I'm hoping that these uh, tips can really help you in terms of thinking about a productive partnership that results in a strong return on investment and really achieves your objectives. Thank you.